This is Ray Glasser on April 20th, 2012, with some video of a Betamax that just came in from eBay, and it's not quite working the way it should be. In fact, this Betamax has more problems than any Betamax I've ever seen. Uh, my first tip-off was when you turn the power on, it um, <laughs> doesn't stay on. Uh, the channel changes by itself. I knew this was not a good sign. Now, I'm holding the camcorder with two hands. I'm nowhere near this machine. And, uh, first of all, this thing keeps blinking. The channel's changing on its own. And I'm nowhere near the uh, machine. And the remote control does not work with it, by the way. So, uh, I'm not doing anything by remote. <laughs> really nice, right? Look at that thing. Now, this thing actually changes the channel, this jog wheel. And it does do a good job. But it uh, doesn't work too good, does it? I didn't know we'd get channel one here in the States. <laughs> All right, I have a tape in there, even though this uh, little indicator keeps blinking. And we're going to put the tape in the play mode. Channel's still going crazy all by itself. Right, let's go in the scan mode. Oh, isn't that interesting? This thing just went into the timer set mode by himself, by itself. Isn't that great? Okay, let's go into play mode. Okay, here's my TV set. This is Superman the movie, by the way. You back off a little bit. All right, let me uh, clear this out so we get the hours, minutes, seconds counter back. And we're still on channel one. That uh, play little tape indicator is still blinking. The channel is still changing on its own. Very odd. <laughs> oh, man. Let me change the tracking. Try to pull this in a little bit better. Okay. So far so good, except for the channel changing. Doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, this thing actually goes into the uh, timer set mode. Oh, that's nice. 1-2. That's a nice channel. The, uh, this display, the hours, minutes, seconds, and time display, actually goes into the timer set mode on its own, which is very strange. I've never seen that before. This is uh, probably a logic problem or servo problem in the machine. You see it, it wants to go backwards once in a while because that back arrow over here keeps flickering. <laughs> Isn't this nice? Now we're back to channel 11. Now 111. Very good. Oh, now it's in slow motion, by the way. You can hear it going in slow, slow motion. Oh, it just went into stop all on its own. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's go back into play again. Okay, I don't have the audio hooked up, just the video. So here we go with Superman the movie until this thing decides to go nuts so by itself. Too bad this machine is physically in great shape. This display is very clear for a machine that's 26 years old. Really a shame. Let's see what the on-screen display says. Oh, I'm not in that data screen mode. Can't do that. Too bad. This is a great machine. I've had four or five of these over the years, but uh, not one that works like this. Jeez. Really a damn shame. The best Betamax Sony ever made, but not this particular one. Okay, I'm now in the uh, monitor out mode, which gives you an on-screen display, which is supposed to stay on all the time. But since this is screwed up, it doesn't. See it flickers on and off? Not supposed to do that. Now, this is really weird. Here we are back in the machine again. See things are flickering, they're flashing, they're not steady. <laughs> the channel is changing on its own. Not good. This is going back next week.
Oh, there we go. When is the timer set mode all by itself? Push the clear button to get rid of that. Isn't that interesting? And we're on channel zero again. Well, up here, the date's actually changing too. This is really weird. Changing all on its own. Yeah, this machine's in really good shape. <laughs> Now it's on channel 1H4. Back to channel 1. Here we go. Back to the timer set mode all on its own. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, I just want to show a little video of this wonderful Betamax and why I'm sending it back. By the way, this is what the timer set mode looks like on screen. You actually get a three-week calendar because it goes ahead three weeks. Oh, it just went off and there comes back on again. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, all of a sudden it went up to eject all by itself. Look at that. Won't even play a tape. It just ejected it all on its own. Yep, major problems in this SLHF 1000. It's a real pity, too. But uh, it's going back to its cellar next week. Bye-bye.